today I have a new video for you guys. I'm so sorry I've been away for such a long time. I was having a lot of issues with my health plus I had to move houses and get a new car so a lot of things were going on in my life and I kind of just took a step back from YouTube and tried to sort everything out before I came back to you guys and today I'm here to just do a video showing you guys a few things that I recently bought I've been absolutely loving so it's kind of like a haul and favourites video in one so I'm just gonna get straight into it and show you guys what I've got so the first thing I want to show you guys is an amazing product that I bought about all the way back in Hong Kong which was back in May. It's basically an eyelash curler and I'm not the type of person that wears false lashes every single day. I know some people can, I just can't do it that fast. So this is the Koji Curving Eyelash Curler over here in my left hand. Uh, this one is the one I used to use and it's the Shu Umura eyelash curler which everyone raves about and probably own if you guys can see the main difference is curved metal part on the koji this little curve here actually does an amazing job at curling your lashes and um, it kind of fans the eyelashes out so instead of my shugumaru one which has a flat base and curls my lashes like this like just one angle and all of them are at the same length and um, the Koji one kind of fans my lashes out so instead of them being like this it's like all fanned out and it makes my lashes look really really pretty and looks them um, makes them look longer than they actually are and I've just been in love with it the price point is absolutely amazing as well this was less than 10 pounds whereas the shoe mirror all you guys know is definitely over 10 pounds so if I were to choose I would definitely recommend this one to every single person I know um, yeah the Koji curving eyelash curler fantastic so the second thing is also something that I've been using for a long long time now and I've actually gone through so many of them and it is this Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. So these are my used ones and I recently just bought a new one uh, a few days ago. So as you guys can see I rinsed through these so fast because you don't get a lot of product with them. I mean it is a micro pencil so it's really really thin. You can see the tips really tiny and I like this because the crown is really waxy so it kind of stays put a lot better than other products I've tried that smudges or just like melts really easily and I love the little spoolie on the other side as well it's small enough to like just get the tiny hairs to stay in place also if you guys are living in the UK definitely go and buy these from Wilkinson's or Wilco's as it's shortened to now and um, because it is cheaper in boots this is eight pounds uh, I got this from from Wilco's for like five pounds something and as you guys can see it's really really fine pencil so you can draw like little hair strokes use a spoolie fade it out a tiny bit to make it look more natural and I really really like this pencil so I'm gonna keep buying this because it is amazing so yeah that is the brow pencil that I've been reaching for for the past few months absolutely love it this is probably like my fifth one now <laughs> really really like it this is by Essence and if you don't know Essence is a makeup brand in Wilkinson's again uh, you guys have to try Wilco stuff because it is actually really really great for their price their brushes are fantastic I've always raved about them in the past a million nude faces eyeshadow box in the shade number one it's more of a neutral palette with a few shimmers and these are super pigmented for what they are and they're really creamy they're not chalky feeling and they're just so smooth and easy to apply so I'm just gonna show you guys this one because this one's quite eye-catching this is actually a color I've got on my eyes today so I'm gonna swatch this one for you guys like literally look at that pigmentation on my finger it is beautiful so I'm just gonna swipe wow so pretty it is super super creamy it blends really well with all the other colors and it just gives a really great color payoff and i got this w7 hideout full cover concealer it's in a little glass bottle which is quite good because 
usually the plastic. And I'm just gonna squirt a tiny bit for you guys to have a look. I have it, oh that's a bit too much. This is what the concealer is, it's kind of like a liquid concealer, it's very creamy though and the coverage is amazing, just look at that coverage, wow. It's really really creamy, super blendable, it's quite hydrating as well because I have really dry eyes or dry face in general so I always look for a concealer that's quite hydrating that has the coverage and doesn't melt and this is the bomb it stays put all day a tiny bit does go a long way with this product so as you guys can see I pumped way too much earlier but yeah you can literally use this as foundation if you really wanted to so next thing is these little cute bunnies here I have this shade currently on my lips and it's like a rosy red color and these are by Tony Moly. I got this in Hong Kong when I purchased some Tony Moly masks and it's called the Petite Bunny Gloss Bar and these two I got recently from my friend she got me it for me for my birthday and this one is number one and this one is number three and I haven't opened these yet so let me just open them and swatch the color so these are the swatches, that is the one that I've got on my lips right now, I have no idea what number it is, but it is the red toned um, packaging. This one is number one, which is the really light pink with some purple tones to it. And this one is number three, which is kind of like a hot pink. They're really, really hydrating and really comfortable on the lips, so I just love using this and I always carry this in my purse or whatever bag that I'm using just for on-the-go touch-ups as well so that is what it looks like but yes that is all the products I have for you guys today and I hope you enjoyed this video and check out some of them that I've mentioned and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon bye